here in Fruita, Colorado. Um, it's called the Headless Chicken Car Show. Some chicken named Mike got his head chopped off and actually lived for 30 days without a head. Check it out on the internet. And uh, Colorado Bob came out here with his car and wanted us to come out here and look around. So that's what we're doing. We're out here with Colorado Bob and checking it out. Do what? I like this one. Oh, the Cougar? Well, you know, you know our neighbor. He's got one of these on stands. It's a, it's a Dave Gertie special. Now this guy's in Bob's car car club, and he actually restored this car himself. Look at the pinstripe on that thing. I think he said he painted this too. That's a beautiful car right there, isn't it? Boy. Yeah, that's a nice car right there. 1968, look at that, brand new motor. Brand new Cougar engine, look at the valve covers. Got a Cougar on the valve cover. Now look at this El Camino right here. What's up, buddy? This is my wife, Minnie. Go ahead and bring her out here to show you. Go ahead and bring her out here to show you El Camino. I love El Camino, that's my favorite car. Now old Larry, your name's Larry, right? Yeah. Larry restored this, right Larry? Yeah. Now you're saying something about that engine, what is that? It's a uh, 396 with a four inch crank in it. Four inch crank, now what are you talking about when you say four inch crank, what well, does that mean? It's a stroke. It's a stroker? Yeah, what you do is a, a 396 block uh -huh. is a, it has a 3.76 stroke in it. Okay, and then, so you had four inches on yeah, this one. I put one. a four inch steel crank in it which made it a four inch which adds to your cubic inch. And I now why steel, why didn't you just go cast? Why? Yeah, why steel? What's what's the big deal on steel? Steel's strong. Is it strong steel cast? Stronger. Stronger? Yeah. Now is that a four bolt main job there, no, Larry? Two bolt. Just a two bolt main. Two bolt main. Alright, now would, is that a stronger engine than a four bolt? Well, no, uh, four bolts are Is that a lot of talk? Yeah, you know, there's okay. Everybody likes what they like. It's what yeah. you really prefer, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Here's Bob. Okay. Yeah. We're or, talking, you know, talking to Larry about his big block 396 stroker motor. Four bolt, four bolt mains are strong, uh -huh. but you know a lot of guys that build big block race engines say the two bolts are stronger than a four bolt. Huh. Makes sense, doesn't it? I know, but it's the way the webbing is at the bottom. So this has got uh, factory air. It's got yeah, everything factory power steering. What I did on this this is basically what came in this car. This is a number matching car. And what Larry did is he took that motor and turned it into a big block stroker job and completely restored this. That's the thing you're going to find out about these country boys is they actually restore their own vehicles. I think he did an awesome job on that El Camino right there. It's all rollerized. Yeah. yeah, so it's uh, so, oh, okay. Okay, hold on a minute, Larry. You just said roller. What do you mean roller? Well, it's What's got, roller? What's rolling in there besides wheels and tires? Yeah. <laughs> What's it's going got, on, bud? It's got a, it's got uh, roller tappets and roller really? bucket arms. Instead of the instead of the tappet, uh -huh. instead of the tappet just being flat, right, right. It's got a roller bearing. It's got like rollers on them that make them go up and down. No, it's got a roller. It's called a roller rocker. Roller rocker arms. Okay, and then you got to have a special cam to do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering. I didn't. Yeah. When you buy your camshaft. You buy a, huh. a roller camshaft. Roller rocker camshaft kit. Yeah. Okay. Got the MSD spark box on there. See that? Yeah. Does that actually really do That's something? That's ignition box right there. Does that actually really work? Or you oh, think it's oh, a yeah. joke? Oh yeah. So it is something that really works. It's yeah. not a sales pitch. No, no. So you tie it in with it with the yeah. MSD ignition. Oh, okay. The, the yeah, I see that. Uh, the, what they call the blaster. blaster the blaster job. Yeah. Master blaster. There you go, dude. And see this camshaft here. Okay. This here What's is up? A, this here is a vacuum canister. Okay, for because, your brakes. Yeah, because the camshaft doesn't put up. Oh, vacuum. I see what you're saying. So when it, when it doesn't have a lot of vacuum, you gotta sure. either have you yeah, gotta have the vacuum boosted. canister or hydro boost brakes. One or the other. 
Yeah, shake your hand, make a friend, Larry. All right, buddy. Appreciate it, buddy. You got a beautiful car here. Thank you. Keep polishing. Weren't you polishing that thing about three hours ago? Well, I took a break. Took a break. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> That's one thing about your car, Bob. You don't have to polish it. Uh, <laughs> you just drive in uh, and drive out. Uh, wash it and let's go. Just wash it and go down the road. There's Bob's motor, look at that. How many times we gotta look at your motor on camera here, Bob? Uh, huh? We've uh, seen about 78 yeah. times. Now, I do like this. Is this like rat rod action? Use the oh, copper yeah. pipe action they here? Said, they said these will break. I said, I They'll like break? The, I like the looks of them. Cop, can, copper has a tendency. It's real soft. Yeah. yeah, don't get stuck out in the middle of nowhere with that, Bob. Uh, I ain't worried about it. All right. Okay, so we're waiting on our buddy Charlie. Now, he's a YouTuber, and he actually met Bob uh, Colorado Bob from watching my videos. Uh, Colorado Bob walked into a. Where'd you walk into a restaurant or something? Yeah, it was a breakfast show, yeah. Walked into a restaurant and some guy jumps up and said, "Hey, you're Colorado Bob." Is that right? That's right. Is that what happened, dude? Yeah, he's got a forty Ford coupe and he's uh -huh. got a. He's got another pickup truck. I'm not sure exactly okay. what that is, but. Well, look what we got right. here, man. Check this car out. How you doing? I don't believe. How you doing, buddy? Good. What year you got going here? Forty nine. No, this is a 52, ain't it? 49. Okay, if you say so, I see yeah, the side. Yeah. And that's a straight eight, ain't it? It is a straight eight. Now hold on, bud. It shows somebody and restoring. And you got the original wheels on it, too. Yes, I do. Is that you restoring this car? Uh, yes. You're joking well, me. Well, no. I'll have to say, I did George Pickens down here, Pickens Body. Pickens Body? He's What's your name, buddy? Larry Overby. How you doing, Larry? Shake your hand, make a friend. My okay. name's Keith. Okay. <laughs> now, how long have you owned this thing? Uh, 25 years. 25 I years. Have quite a story about this. It's not only is it something that uh, I like. My neighbor bought it brand new, uh -huh. and he was a character. This thing stayed in the garage the whole time. When right. It, when I got it, it had 53,000 miles. 53,000 miles. It, it got serviced every 3,000 miles. Oh my God. And anything went wrong with it, he had it fixed. Uh huh. And uh, when he died, his wife came over a week later after the funeral and says, "This is. He wants you to have this car." So he gave it to you. Hey, you know who I, I am. know who you are. Oh, no, what's your name, buddy? Robert Nichols. How you doing, Rob? Anyway, Live on Mac. This is quite a Live on Mac. He, you're his neighbor. <laughs> this is your neighbor. Yeah. It's your neighbor. <laughs> hey, Larry, what's going on? Well, we're going to look at your car, Larry. All right, thanks. Good night. So here we go 1949 straight A Buick, two door sedan. Beautiful, beautiful restoration. Look at the paint job that they put on that engine. Now, I'm, I'm speculating that's probably the factory color down there on that Buick. If you look over here, there's the factory blue, so he went ahead and cleaned up his valve cover, made it really look nice. And this is just an awesome, awesome restoration. Uh, second owner vehicle, looks beautiful. Um, I used to call these boat tails. That's what I called these things, boat tails. And the reason I call them boat tails, that's just basically what it looks like. It's a very, very rare car. Okay, hold on. Where's the owners of these two cars? Right over there. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. Come on over here, buddy. Come on. Okay, you're going to get a kick out of this guy. He's kind of a character. <laughs> Ain't he, Bob? He is. Okay. Come on over here, buddy. What's his name? What's his... Come on over here, Jerry. I told you I was bringing my camera, bud. Uh -oh, I, I don't I like told cameras. You. I told you. So what's up? Tell us something about your cars, Jerry. What's going on with this? Did you ever remember the name of the guy that put the Corvair out of business? Ralph Nader. Nader, that's it. Ralph. Nader. Ralph Nader, not Rob. Ralph Nader put Corvairs out of business. He did. He, he told them how how bad they were, and, uh -huh. and I don't think he ever owned one. Uh -huh. He was a public relations kind of guy or something. Well, that and a politician. He was a politician that yeah. didn't get any money in his yeah. pocket from yeah. Corvair. Yeah. So uh, he he was very much against them, mainly because of the engine in the back. He thought it was very unsafe because yeah. if you if you 
got on the slick road or got spit in my rear end, that would pull you around. Well, well, what happened? Good. The secret is driving right. <laughs> That's right, Jared. Now, you were telling us that there was a big snow blizzard one one day Yeah. Uh, on some pass up here. When, when Where I, was it? When I first, after we first got married, my wife owned the Corvair. Uh-huh. And we were coming back from Denver visiting my folks and from Loveland Pass. That was before the interstate was there. Right. And it was her and I and our six-week-old daughter. Uh-oh. And we got up there in a blizzard. In the Corvair. In the Corvair. And wondered what we were going to do up on top of Loveland Pass. And all of a sudden, this semi-trailer, he headed down off the pass. And behind him went a uh, cheap wagon in her. Uh-huh. And I told my wife, I said, if those two are going, I'm following them. They'll break trail. There you and, go. And three of us made it down off that mountain. I kept looking at my rearview mirror and never saw another car come down. So you proved but Ralph Nader proved wrong. Drive them right. That's right. That worked. And, and that was the secret. Of course, it's rear-wheel drive. Yeah. But it had the engine in the Rear-wheel drive standard transmission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> standard. <laughs> standard. <laughs> and uh, standard so your, weight, your weight was on the back, so uh -huh. you, know, you just drive right. And, there you and go. You're okay. You know. There you go, buddy. Yeah. And I'll bet you $100 you're the only Corvair out here. Is there any more out here? Take the bet right now. Is there any more out here? Come on right over there. There's probably more Corvairs. Okay, okay. Yeah, 62 sedan over there. Okay. All right. So did you restore this, Jerry? No. You no. bought it this way. I bought it, I bought it from a guy who uh, had restored it. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a beautiful restoration, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now let me guess, this really isn't your car, it's your wife's, right? <laughs> well, and she yeah. makes you back it in the hole. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it, it's going to get passed down to our daughter. Our okay. Daughter, our daughter spotted that long ago and said, yeah, she wanted that one. Because I there you go. Get rid of it, you know, but no, she... But hold on, you own, you own another car over here, don't you, buddy? Yeah, I got, a, a I got an old black Chevy. Uh, now how long have you had that, bud? <laughs> In about 10 years. Let's go look at that. Come on over here, Jerry. That is one beautiful That's one beautiful paint. Door. Look at the paint job on that. That's, it's that's like a mare. Uh, it's like a mare, Jerry. Black is beautiful for a car, but they're hard to keep clean. Oh, yeah. But they do shine well and look good. Uh huh. The story is that What's what, the story on this my one? wife and I met. Uh huh. I had a 57 Chevy four door hard okay, job. Okay, okay. She had a car. Come on over here, Jerry. She, there she you had, go, bud. Okay. She had, she had a Corvair. She had a Corvair. And I had a 57 Chevy. Oh, so okay. When we got into getting old cars again, we went back full circle. There you go. You so, went back to your teenage yeah, days. Went back to those days. So, uh huh. Uh, so yeah. now you go to the car shows and you got the 57 and she's got she the Corvair. And I bet you had a black one, right? No. No. Okay. I, no, mine, mine was white. It was not the same color, but uh -huh. it was virtually the same car. It was just. Uh, now, is this a 210 or what is it? It's 327? A it's a Bel Air, yeah. So it's got the 327? Yeah. Uh huh. Now, is this a standard? No, this is an automatic. Okay, it's that's why you drive this one. That's the standard. Just okay, over there. okay. That's a stick shift. Uh huh. And, uh, not many people can drive it. Well, you know, that's, that's a pretty. I drive it, yeah. That's a pretty awesome story. They went all the way back to their teenage years and said, here we are again, living yeah. life yeah. and having fun, right, Jerry? Yeah, you got it. Okay, there you go. Thank you. CB's veteran. CB's, you bet. USA. Thank you. Shake your hand, make a friend, Jerry. Thank you. We'll see you later. And there's your lovely wife. Yeah, there she is. There she is, Carol. How you doing, Carol? Okay. The interior of this thing is nice, too. Herringbone. Okay, Jerry, thanks a lot, Thank buddy. You know. you we'll bet. see you later. Thanks for coming. All right, huh. all right. Okay, Larry, you were busy talking. Tell us the rest of your story about your car, bud. Okay, well... So you're the second owner, and the guy actually gave the car to you. Well, not really. He, he had to pay a little bit more. Right. Basically, he gave it uh -huh. to me. <laughs> so what happened? Well, uh, about 10 or 15 years before he passed away, uh -huh. of course, he took care of this thing. I mean, it's had, it's had everything. And uh, told him, I says, you know, I want this car when you're done with it. But, and be honest with you, if I didn't have this, if that hadn't happened, I might not quite be doing this today and what I would have missed. That's how I feel about it. You love it, this car. This oh, is your, yeah. this is like your life now. Yeah, it is. And uh, a week after he passed away, his wife came over and said, meet when you have this car. So, and it was great. And I, you know, I just enjoy the heck out of it. How long did it take to restore it, Larry? Oh, it, it pretty much, uh, 
the uh, interior I had done. Um, all I've done to it, well, I've had the transmission out. We've replaced it. And that was a job the right there. Oh my god, my mechanic. Yeah. But we, I cleaned it all up and it had the engine. Uh -huh. Well, it's. it's uh, Is that the original engine that never been rebuilt? Never been rebuilt. That's the original engine, never been rebuilt. Wow. Is this the original color? That's the original color. I like the color. And, and, uh, and, 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 you know, have you seen a color like this around? Well, they're coming back. The old vintage I colors have, are coming back. I haven't back. seen this color either. Yeah, no, and, uh, I haven't seen this, but the vintage colors are coming back on the new cars these days. I went on I like it. And that's the situation you have when someone really, really loves his car, is that this is his life right here. Um, got it from his neighbor, second owner, restored it. And, you know, that's the story. Everybody has a story about their old classic car. This is actually a pretty rare bird right here. Very, very rare. Well, thanks a lot, Larry, for all your time, buddy. Appreciate it. One more time. I got my hand. I got that's all right. You can't scratch it with your dry skin, bud. See you later. All right, so what are you thinking? Uh, now, you know what this car show is all about, right? All right, we're going to have to find something that really knows the history on on the bird with the chopped head that lived for 30 days. Look at this right here. Check this out. Okay, hold on. We got Tangerine Dream and I guess the tomato head. Cherry red. Cherry red tomato head. Now, that's a pretty awesome picture right there. Look at that. You got the station wagon and you got the hard top right there all in a row. That's nice, ain't it? Well, I know you like station wagons, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at, the, look at the paint job on this. Look how beautiful these colors are together. Look at that. So this is your standard issue, uh, 1956 Chevy Bel Air two-door hard top. Beautiful car that it is. And then if we swing over here, got the 1955 Chevy station wagon and that's an awesome restoration right there in itself. So yeah, back in time we go. American USA, American built right there. Oh we found my god, do you know how many years I've watched or how long I've been watching your videos? <laughs> Who is this? What's your name buddy? My name's Ray. Oh what's Hi, up Ray? Ray? How you Check doing, it. man? I don't believe this. I was just watching your videos this morning. Oh, really? What were no you watching? Lie. What were you watching? You and that. Who's that old time that guy has been and doing? He built a thousand cars. I just watched it this morning. I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Jane Winfield. Yes. Oh, oh. you saw our little tour oh, of Jane yeah, Winfield. Oh, yeah, we went to the Mojave Desert. Yeah. Becky. This is the guy in the Wi-Fi watch all the time. Oh, she doesn't want to be okay. okay. <laughs> but you so know what I you, love you the most about your videos? What's that, Ray? Your personality well, and that. I don't you stopped to... doing it, but you had oh, to... Oh, Sammy Salami. <laughs> 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 so you know Pete's videos. I want Pete. Uh, well, I appreciate Pete, that, Ray. Pete, my friend. I, I need to kind of start carrying a box of T-shirts around. I know, I yeah. know. You do. All right. I can't believe these people are celebrities. I don't know about Not all really. that. I don't know about all that. He's going to try to make a celebrity out of me. Is that right? And you. This is Colorado Bob. See, now you're on my videos, dude. You're not wanted, are you? No. Okay, good. good, good. Okay, right. I'd like you I can afford okay. the 1999 Harley Road King, okay? There you go. There you go. Well, hey, right, you keep watching that video, dude, bud. Dude, right. you got to get some more videos all on right. there. You can I get a to. picture of you with me? I don't care. He's got bro. like 5,000 on there. All right, right. We got to go, bro. Awesome. All right, you on Facebook? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, SWRC Pete. No problem. Gonna... No, I called your phone number and left you a message about my pain my bike. Oh, you did? When yes, was that? I did. Just about two weeks ago. Okay. Well, call me back, dude. We'll talk at the shop. Yeah. Okay, so we met Ray. Ray was a nice guy right here in Colorado with Bob. Um, what we were talking about, though, is we found the Buick over there, and I think we found its matching sister, the Osmobile. Look at this thing here, yeah, Bob. That's beautiful. Okay, this Oldsmobile. Now look, this is the difference between Oldsmobile and Buick. It had the V8 while the Oldsmobile was still carrying the straight eight, dude. I mean the Buick. So the Oldsmobile had the V8 and the uh, Buick had the straight eight. Did you know that? I do now. You do now, don't you, dude? Look at this car, man. It's almost an exact replica. It's like they used the same body parts on it. 
and 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 they just put different name tags on it. You know what I'm saying? Different grill. Well, it's got a different grill, but I'm saying, look, it's a boat tail action going on. Same situation. And it's a really nice car. What year's your car, bud? What year's your car? 49. This is a 49? Yes, sir. Just like the guy down the road with the 49 Buick down there. Buick, right. yeah. Yeah, I was telling everybody here that I think they use the same body parts and stuff. Yeah. And all they do is just put the different emblems on different grills. The engine mounts or something. And the, and the engine's different. Yours is a V8 and this is a straight eight. Straight eight. There you go. Beautiful car, guy. Thank you. All right. Beautiful. How long have you owned it? Probably 15 years. 15 years. Did you restore it or did you buy it this way? You restored it yourself? Yeah. You did an awesome I job. Didn't, I didn't do the painting, but uh -huh. I love the mechanic. Looks great. Nice car, bud. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some redneck action right here, Bob, all the way in Colorado. There you go. I thought rednecks were only in Texas. Look what we got here. We got a redneck. It looks like a Texas The redneck Ford, dude. You own this car, bud? Truck. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. They'd be to fed you, buddy. Let's go talk to him about his Ford. What year is this thing, Bob? Uh, huh? Looks like about a seven. This is a nice. This is a nice truck right here. The owner says, "Born and bred in Colorado. Okay. No Born Texas. No Texas. No in Texas it. blood here. No Texas blood. So there really is rednecks in Colorado, huh? Yes, there is. <laughs> you know, there's one problem here, guy. You ain't got no Moab mud on it. We're not going four wheeler with this one, huh? Used to. Did you? Now, did you restore this yourself? I had it done. Oh, that's I bought awesome. this brand new in '79. You've had this since 1979. Yep. Wow. Just restored it last year. It's been Was that like your high school days or what? I Junior high, high days? Huh? I was out of high school. You were already out of high school? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. That is the probably the most beautiful '79 Ford F-150 4x4 I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I'd want to go mudding with it either, bud. Hey, we used to. Shake a hand, make a friend. Thank Are you sir. from here? Yeah, Grand Junction area. Grand Junction, all right. This is Colorado Bob, he's from here. Nice I'm getting you. ready to move down to Moab. Y'all have a great day, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm in Texas, so, you know, rednecks down there really mean a lot to us, buddy. Well, there you go. So I have to shake your hand one more time. All right. You like my flag on there, don't you? I, no, I saw that. It said redneck. I said I didn't know they had rednecks in Colorado. All right. We'll see you later, buddy. All right. So what we're looking at here, Bob, let me tell you about this paint. This is your typical 1980s, 90s style street rod paint job. You know what I I'm see saying? this car running around. So you see it all the time? Yeah. yeah. I've never met the guy yet. So if you go back to 19, circa 80s, 90s, this is how they would paint them back then, dude. They'd get the fancy pinstripe, the two-tone bright colors. Yeah, instead of all the graphics that come down. Yeah, down. there you go. Yeah, you yeah. go. The swoopy graphics. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like that swoopy graphic. Uh-oh. For his stress crack, he yeah, dogged, stress crack, he dogged yeah. it up. So this must be a fiberglass car. No, this is a steel body. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice Chevy right I there. I that's fiberglass fenders. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Now, we did a car like this for our buddy Leon, Manny. It looks like a Willis front end almost. Is it for sale? He's not allowed to buy anything. I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll buy it. Right here. Okay, hold on. We got a buyer. Come on over. Uh-oh. Brother Paul's, big brother Paul showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. He's all slicked out today in black. <laughs> this is a beautiful car. We were talking about that paint job. Who pinstriped that, bud? Is this yours? Yeah, who pinstriped that? That's an awesome pinstripe. Did he? Done two years ago. That's a beautiful car. I think he was 78 then. 78. Been, yeah. Been doing pinstripe and he quit school at 16. And that's all he's ever done? Yep. Huh. Put two kids through college. Got a nice For pinstriping. Yeah. Well, you got an awesome car, bud. Good luck on selling it. Oh, he's going to see if he can fit in and look. He heard him say it was for sale. Oh, look, he's going. He's thinking of buying it. He's got a sale, Bob. Yeah, there look go. at there, look at there. He's got somebody interested to buy that, bud. He said it was for sale real loud. Did you hear him? Yep. 35. 35 grand. 35 grand. You can 
take it home today. How about, how about we, hey, how about we do a square deal? You take it home. <laughs> Don't you take it home. You take, maybe Bob will let you park next to his uh, hot rat rod. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's go check some more cars out, guys. Where's Charlie at? Bob? Excuse me? Where's Charlie? Uh, haven't heard from him yet. Okay. Hey, Bob. Does that look like a sticker or does that look like paint? I mean, that, that's, that's on there so good that you would actually question yourself, is that a sticker or is that paint? Am I right or wrong? You're looking at it pretty hard. Because I'm trying to decide whether it's a sticker or paint. Okay, can we go ahead and shorten up the video a little bit? That's paint. Okay, but look how nice and clean the lines are on there. Yeah, it's perfect. It looks just like a sticker. Perfect. Look at this. You can't even feel it. That's right. That's what I'm saying. But look how... That's got a lot of clear on That's right, but let me show you something. This is what I'm telling you. See this car? These are stickers. Okay? See that? Yep. Yep. And that's what I'm telling you, that whoever did that did such an accurate job. Now the factory had stickers. The factory was stickers, dude. There you go. So that's actually pretty cool. Hold on, Bob. Here's the sister car. For sale, for sale, for sale. I know, but you can put it over there next to your little your little Bugatti. What do you think? My Austin Healy? Yeah. My dad loved James Volvo. Bond, dude. My dad had a lot of Volvos. Did he? Yeah. That looks like James Bond action there. It does. Yeah. Doesn't it kind of look like the old... Maybe, maybe it's got some machine guns behind the grill. Yeah. So here's our Corvair. Now look at this one compared to the convertible. This is a four-door sedan, dude. Huh. Would you drive one of those, Bob? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Huh. So the Corvair had a air-cooled engine. Basically, it was a flat six-cylinder instead of a four-cylinder. And there's your engine. Looks like a, a helicopter, an airplane engine. Look at it. It's underneath a spare tire. Yeah. And believe it or not, it never got hot. It ran as cool as a bird. Look at the cooling tin down here. That would actually yeah. help cool it. Look at that. There's some yeah. little electric fans in there, bud. Down inside, there's some little fans in there that actually turn to help cool the engine down. Wow. That's actually a pretty nice restoration, to be honest with you. You know what we really need to do, Bob? We need to find somebody that knows the history on this uh, headless chicken named Mike. Do you know Would that be you? <laughs> Hold on a minute. We got someone that might know something about the headless chicken. Okay, go ahead, sweetheart. What's going on with this headless chicken named Mike? Um, what happened? Tell us the story. I just know that the owner cut his, tried to cut his head off, but he actually lived for two years. Was it two years? I 18 months. I thought no, it, was it was like 18 months to two years. So you're telling me that this chicken ran around without a head for two years? Yep. Wow. Yep. Now, is that provable verification story action, or um, is that just hearsay? I don't know. That's from Google. That sounds like a... I know. That kind of sounds like one of them campfire stories. I you, think you know, it you is. might go to sleep and have nightmares of headless chickens. I don't know. It happened a long time ago, and I'm not old enough to be here for that. Are you here with the motorcycle? Yes. Is that yours? It's my husband. Okay. That's a beautiful bike. It is. Look <laughs> what we got here, Bob. Uh, now, I know you own a few uh, Harleys. That's probably a 46. I know you own a few Harleys, but do you have anything like this? No. What year is it? It's a 1940. It's a 1940, dude. Now, I'm just wondering if it's an oil leaker. It is. is that an oil leaker? It's leaking right now. There you go. Oh, look at the drop under. Oil. Hey, if it doesn't leak oil, then it's a fake. Yeah. Am I right? Well, if it doesn't leak oil, you're out of oil. There you go. Exactly. Is that your bike, buddy? <laughs> that's my bike. Now, did you restore it? Is that a flathead? Is that what they call that's flathead? That's a flathead. Yeah. yeah, that's not a knucklehead, right? Nope. Okay, what's the difference between a flat and a knuckle? Um, the knucklehead, you, well, if you look at it, it's going to have uh, like a cron uh -huh. hover with some bolts on it. Okay, okay. It just looks a little different. Okay, so it kind of looks like two knuckles like that. Exactly. Okay, and there you go. style bike. Right. This is now, you know, this is Y2K compatibility going on here. Can you actually keep up with traffic on that thing on the highway? I don't ride it on the highway. I'll okay, die. so what's what's top speed on something like this? Downhill or uphill? There you go. Flat. <laughs> uh, flat <laughs> ground, flat, flat ground. Is about 45. 45. Huh. I'm thinking possibly, I'm thinking, I'm reading a story here, and, and the way that this thing rides, I'm thinking instead of actually getting a sidecar, I'm thinking your wife said, don't get it because I don't want to ride in it. Yeah. It's too rough and you're only going 40 miles an hour. That's right. Is that basically, is that the true story? That's the true okay. story. So that's more of the story right I'll there. Drive, I'll drive my car. 
There you go. And you can follow him. Yeah. You're the chaser car. Yeah. You got all the tools in your trunk. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you are. Appreciate it. Nice it looks bike. Faster than a 50 mile an hour bike. <laughs> it looks faster. It's a cruiser. Now, did you restore all this yourself? I painted did. it and everything. I did all the body work and wow. I had some help. I don't know how to put on the spokes and lace it through a rim, you know, so I get help. So you went all the way down to the bare spokes. I, I broke it all the way down. Yeah. Put it all back together. Now, how long did it take to do something like this? Six years. Six year job. Yeah. There you go. It looks nice. I like the colors. That you I like the colors too. I mean, yeah. it's pretty cool, huh, Bob? It is. Old school. Now, Bob's, old now school. Bob's a Harley guy, but I don't know if he's going in that deep. Not that old. You're not going that deep in, are you? may be that old. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll work. All right, man. All right, we got the story from your wife. We're going to check it out on the Headless Chicken. She said two years. <laughs> yeah. She said two years. So, right. See you all later. Thank you. All right. Now, I'm just curious about this car here, if it's like show and go, or is it a SCCA race car? Uh, that's a road race car. So this was SCCA certified. Because I don't see any SCCA stickers on it. Yeah, now he he has to do something with us besides just show it off. Right, I mean, look at the air cleaner on the thing. He's got to be doing something, dude. Ram air. That's called ram air. Fuel. That's not fuel injection. That's carburetor, but it's ram air carbs. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to be honest with you. That's one badass ride, Bob. That's a 1970 boss. SEMA. Was he in SEMA? SEMA? Yeah. Wow. I live in here camping. Yeah. 1970. 1970. There it is. SCCA. I knew there was a sticker somewhere that said SCCA, and there it is, dude. Button, Check out the seats, dude. More engineering. He's got he's got bomber seats in this thing, bud. Now, could you drive that cross country, Bob, using bomber seats? Look at these. That's a nice seat. That's bomber like seats, that. dude. Yeah, but you, you don't see them. Uh, you don't see them all upholstered like that. That's that's actually a nice upholstery job on that. I like that car, dude. That's a beautiful yeah. car. I like road Okay, so here we are at the car show. We're gonna go up here to the Lions Club, and it looks like this guy. He's a Lions. Uh, we got FFA here with us today. What's up, guys? Okay, hold on one second, because there's an FFA bringing me back to my childhood days, guys. Okay. Let's see, we have FFA, which is Future Farmers America, and then what's the other group? Lions Club. The Lions Club. How you doing, sweetheart? We appreciate you putting this Thank car you. show on for us. Now, tell us about the chicken. We're trying to get the true story. I don't know the chicken. You don't know the headless chicken? I don't chicken? know the true story. Okay, so what about you? You're FFA. You're a farmer. What's the story on the chickens, guy? I don't know about the chicken. You don't know about the headless chicken? So basically, a chicken, they were going to kill it. <laughs> they fed him and he stayed, chopped his head off and fed him. He didn't, he didn't chop it off enough and they left enough of the brain stem. They could feed it with a drop. Really? For 18 months. Wow. Made money on it. Okay, so, uh, now hold on, because these guys are supposed to be... That's are you guys locals or? Yeah, yeah we're from. Fruit. So you're local guys. Yeah. You're supposed to know the history on what's going on in the <laughs> farming industry here, guys. Yeah. So when it's someone. A very important story. Yeah. <laughs> when a guy like me walks up, you're supposed to know what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. Taking an L on that one. Okay. That's there you go. Win. So what are y'all? What are y'all raising? Hogs? hogs cows? Cattle. I lambs? Do. Cattle and hogs. Yeah. Cattle and hogs. All right. You going to the fair? County fairs? Winning? Winning ribbons? Are they Hopefully. giving trophies out or ribbons? They use we give ribbons, okay. yeah. Yep. We're not eating that beef that you're raising, are we? <laughs> That's not the beef that you raised at the last... No. Okay. Oh, these are pancakes. Yep. I thought those were giant hamburgers. <laughs> no. All right, y'all take care. You too. Okay, see you later, bud. All right. Now, hold on a minute. We got a couple uh, lion guys here that think they know that... What's the story on the chicken, guys? Were you here when it happened? I was, I was here, but I wasn't old. Man. What happened? What happened? Yeah, what's the real story? Damn drunk farmer, he didn't know how to cut his head off. He didn't know how to cut his own <laughs> chicken's head off and left half of and it. He wasn't on. hungry enough to get redo it and eat him that night. Oh my gosh. And, lived for him. and he actually lived for 18 months. 18 yeah. months, they fed him with eye dropper. He fed him with an eye dropper and felt sorry for him. Well, well I they, guess. They were going to give it, uh, he was going to be in the show, you know, and then a guy got all excited about it. Uh huh. Because uh, the, the movies started picking up on it. There's a live chicken with a chopped yeah, off head. Yeah, and then they overfed him and choked him. 
Oh, no. Before he could get Choked away. to death before he could be a movie star. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't make any real money off of Wow. So, but you so it was all about the money is what it really was. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I'll bet we can get on Google and read about it. Oh, yeah, you can. There you yeah, go. It's all, it's so are you all Lion, you all Lions group club yeah, members? We're, well, Bob wants to shake your hand and tell you thanks for putting this car show on, guys. Well, well, we, He's got put it on. we do the breakfast party. We just did oh, you're just a breakfast party, right, people. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for giving us. We didn't even get our breakfast, Bob. Is that free, by the way? No. Oh, is that a free breakfast? As close to free as you can get. About $1.65 and change. There you go. There you go. About a $5 bill. One $5 bill. For older guys, it's a $5 bill. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bob. Two o'clock this afternoon, they'll still be serving pancakes. No, there you go. <laughs> All right, y'all take care. Thanks for the history on the headless chicken. Yep, you got it. All right. Okay, hold on, man. Let me ask you your opinion. Many of the body shop girl, being a car girl that you are, would you call this a show car? That car does not belong here. You don't think that car belongs that here? That car does not belong in a car show. Well, the reason I'm asking is because it's kind of customized, it's modified, and it actually looks like a car that isn't factory. What do you think, Bob? He doesn't I have the graphics on it yet. He doesn't have the graphics <laughs> on it yet. There you go. I love it. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. Are you entering in the car show? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. I like that out. Does that go with your car? No. They're bright as the old boy wearing them. There you go, bro. I like that. You might win a trophy of those things. Y'all take care. All right. <laughs> All right. The only way Pete would ever wear something like that Never. Is, if I, is if I put them on him when he's dead in the coffin. <laughs> That's some wild shit going on there, Bob. What is this pinstripe? It reminds me of my 2002 Dodge truck that I painted Bingo. with flames. Bingo. And then I pinstriped it just like that. Very similar. Yeah, I would say that's an early 2000s style paint job right there. People don't paint their cars like that anymore. Bright colors, hot flames, and wild pinstriping. I would say that's around a 2002, 2005 paint job. What do you see think, what, Bob? see what year this thing is. That's an 89, That's 1989. Bud. Remember back in the early 80s when they had these little mini trucks? <laughs> it was like a mini truck that thing. No uh oh, uh oh. That ain't no sticker. Nope, that's not a sticker. That's a beautiful. That's a nice paint job, to be honest with you. Yeah. I really actually like that. That's a lot of work. People don't realize how much work it takes. They were like this. Yeah. Okay, Bob, hold on. We got competition. Look what we got, Bob. Look what we got, dude. We got the shredder here. The shredder is in town, buddy. That's a pretty nice little truck there. What are you thinking? I'm thinking old school rat rod. It's got. He's out of alignment. Yeah. He's got the airbags going. It's got everything going. I wonder if those tires under the car are actually as fat as that tire on that spare. What do you think? Maybe in the back. All right, so we saw a lot of cars out here, saw a lot of trucks, we saw a lot of everything out here, and we had Colorado Bob visit with us, and it turned out to be a very, very helpful event in memory of Mike, the headless chicken. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what's up here, guy? What's going on? This is the Paul. real information Big about Brother Mike. Paul. Okay, is this the information? This is yes, the true story? Yes, it is. Okay. And now, officially, I heard four years. I've heard four hours. Eighteen months. Eighteen months. I heard Mike the Chicken was actually going to be a movie star. He that's, could have been back then in the yeah. day, but eighteen months. So that's him right real. there. That's the headless chicken. Look. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. What do you think, Pop? I'm digging it. What do you think, for, Big for a cow, cow town? Cow town. This is hot. Yeah. What this else are you going to do on a Saturday? This is paradise. What it am is. I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to eventually get in my car and go home. <laughs> we were supposed to leave three hours ago, dude. Yeah. Three hours ago. What's going on, Ray? How are you liking the car show, buddy? Awesome, dude. Okay. okay. 67 Ford Fastback over there is about is greater there? than anything else here. I saw that, dude. That we're, getting ready. we're getting ready to go down the road and go home. I live here in Fruta. I know. You're, but you're, your neighbor's with Bob. I'm getting ready to go home. I'm getting ready to go back to Dells. It's really great. I wondered if there was ever a chance I could be here. Well, 
Well, here I am, right? Small okay. girl. Okay, <laughs> what do you think of the rat rods, dude? Very cool. We got it. We got a rat rod aisle here. Let's look at them. Check it out now. We got the old Buick. Okay, and then we got the old Chevy. See what I'm saying here? And then we got what is this one over here? Is that an old? Is that a? That's a. What is that? A Packard? A clip? I think that says Clipper. Hang on, let's go look at that and see what. What kind of car is that, Bob? That's a Plymouth. Okay, so see, you got one of each here, bud. You got a Buick, you got the Chevy, you got a Plymouth. Which one's your favorite, Ray? You can only pick one. You like the Plymouth, the Chrysler. Okay, there you go. Oh, you like the Mustang. You're a Mustang. Okay, the red one way over there. Oh, the white one over there. The cream one. Okay. Well, we got a situation, Bob. We got to go, bro. All right. Well, you're gonna have to tell Charlie you missed out, I guess. All right. We're gonna hit the road, buddy. All right. All right. Appreciate you. When we gonna see you again, bud? Yeah, next time you come up. All right. We're gonna be up here in about a month or two. All right. Sounds uh, good. We're gonna be hanging out. You're gonna have a building up. Yeah, we're gonna be hanging out. Yes, sir. Having a good time. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Spend All right, night you gonna go get the 62 Mercury? There you go. There you go. That are you gonna good. go get it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. good luck. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go, bud. All right. We'll see you later, Bob. Ray, we gotta roll. Yes, sir. Take it easy. Okay. That's so awesome. <laughs> Freaking me. This guy's a celebrity. <laughs> okay. All right, bud. <laughs> These two both of them. We gotta go. All right, Paul. We're heading now. All right. We got to go. Big brother, got Paul. It. See you later, bud. All right. Thanks Be for the information. All right, hey, good. There you go, buddy. Check out Southwest. Riding cusses out of Texas. <laughs> Soon to be Nevada. No, or it's not. You should hold on, dude. Utah, Moab. <laughs> All right. All right. What do I know? We'll see you later. See ya. Hey, we're going to put some of our artwork together, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, we need to get a video of that. Okay. All your artwork. We're going to get you online, dude. We'll see you later. All right. We got to go, Ray. Take it easy, Bob. We'll see you later. One more time. All right, big brother Paul Ray, one more time, bud. There you go. Okay. All right, we'll see you later, guy. We're heading out. We're heading out. Okay, we got to go, dude. All right, we'll see you later, Bob. Bob. Right, we got to go. All right. Send me that picture you want me to do. Okay, buddy. All right. Let's go, Minnie. We're rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Right down the highway we go. Ray. See you later, bro. All right, looks like we had a hell of a time. Out here in Fruit of Colorado, looking at the cars. Uh, we got the story on the chicken, but is it a true story? You know, we don't know. Uh, Big Brother Paul said he heard all the way up to four years. Whatever way you look at it, it turned out to be a good situation. And we met a lot of people that says, we got to go home. Back to Dallas, Texas. We'll see you later. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, traveling around talking to people, shaking hands, making friends, and hopefully moving to Moab, Utah very soon.